How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in this video, I'm sitting in a 2018 Kia Sportage SX all-wheel drive. And I'm here to tell you about the good, the bad, and the ugly of this compact crossover. The reason why I have this car for the week is because I was invited to the very first ever trail trek tour in Woodstock, Virginia. That is an event where we compared seven crossovers and put it through an off-road trail. We checked out the off-road capability of the Kia Sportage, the Hyundai Kona, the Toyota RAV4, the Honda CRV, the Volkswagen Tiguan, and the Mazda CX-5. Oh, and also the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. If you're interested to see how the seven crossovers compared in this off-road test, please check the link up above. So without further ado, let's get going with the good of the 2018 Kia Sportage. The first one is the power. This thing packs a two liter turbocharged engine, putting out 236 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. That is one of the more powerful compact crossovers that you could buy in the market today. With 236 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque means that passing on the highway is never a difficult task. And this thing's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission that shifts decently fast and is quite smooth. This thing's also equipped with paddle shifters, so if you want to downshift, you can just tap on the left paddle and get into the right power band and accelerate. The other good thing about this car is that this is loaded with a ton of features. Now Kia's and also its corporate cousin, the Hyundai's, they're known to pack a lot of features into not a lot of money. This thing has Apple CarPlay, it has Android Auto, this thing has heated and ventilated seats, a heated steering wheel. This thing has nice leather seats, a lot of room in the back. It has a powered lift gate. This thing also has a backup camera, which is now mandated for all production cars. You get automatic HID headlights. It also has blind spot monitoring assistance. It has a huge panoramic sunroof and moonroof. And you can have all of that for $36,420. That is a great price given all of the features that you're getting in this car. The other good thing about this car is also its off-road capability. These compact crossovers are marketed to show that it's able to handle the off-road courses. Just as seen in the Trail Trek Tour test, this thing is capable of handling the off-road course found in Woodstock, Virginia. Now this is no Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's not capable of doing any sort of rock crawling or anything like that. It doesn't have an impressive crawl ratio, but this does have a 28 degree approach angle and a 24.6 degree departure angle. This also has a 6.8 inch ground clearance, so that means you don't have to worry so much about smashing onto those little rocks that's in your way. All right, now let's talk about the bad. The first one is the styling. Now, I personally love the styling of the rear end of the Sportage. I think it looks kind of like the Porsche Cayenne, even though it's a miniature version of that. But when it comes to the front design, it looks a bit strange. Uh, personally, I'm okay with the styling, but with most people that I've talked to, they think that it looks a bit awkward. It's on the cutesy side of things. Most manufacturers are creating these crossovers that look very aggressive. I personally want to applaud the Kia design engineers for going away from the trend of making rugged looking crossovers, but the end result is something that looks a bit goofy. What do you think of the design of the Kia Sportage? Please let me know in the comments below. The other bad thing about the Kia Sportage is the mileage. Now this thing is rated at 20 city and 23 highway. Personally, I've been able to get different results from the fuel economy standards during my 800 mile road trip going down from New Jersey to Virginia 
going through a six hour off-road trail and going back to New Jersey, I was able to achieve an average of 28 miles per gallon. Then again, your mileage may vary, but if we go by fuel economy standards, this thing is rated lower than some of the competition. But one thing's for sure, this thing takes regular fuel, which is a big win because some cars have high mileage ratings, but they require premium fuel. Some of these turbocharged engines run a higher compression ratio. Now, while we can never predict the price of gas, one thing's for sure, regular fuel is always going to be cheaper than premium fuel. The other bad thing about the Kia Sportage is also the 19 inch wheels. Now, I get why companies want to put these big wheels on their cars is because they look aggressive, they give a luxury look to the car, but in the end what that does is it creates more unsprung weight, it kills the off-road capability, and it's also going to cost you more money in the long run because low profile, large tires are going to be more expensive to purchase. Finally, let's talk about the ugly of the 2018 Kia Sportage, and that's the towing capacity. This has a very powerful engine, the 236 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. One would think that it would have a much higher towing capacity, but it only has a very average 2,000 pound towing capacity. Something like the Toyota RAV4 Adventure has a 3,500 pound towing capacity, and that's because it has an upgraded oil cooler and transmission cooler. The Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk with a two liter turbocharged engine has a 4,000 pound towing capacity. So if you're looking for a good all around vehicle and towing capacity is one of the more important parameters that you're looking for, then the Kia Sportage is going to be a tougher sell. So there you have it. That's the quick, good, bad, and ugly of the 2018 Kia Sportage. The good, this thing has a ton of power. This is one of the more powerful crossovers that you could buy today. It's also feature packed with a lot of good stuff and not for a lot of money. And with Kias and Hyundais, you know that you're getting that fantastic warranty. And when you're taking this off-roading, you know that this thing can handle the off-road trails. This has a nice all-wheel drive system, the Dynamax all-wheel drive system, which locks the center differential. And when it comes to the bad of this vehicle, the styling is quite questionable. The mileage is also not the best. And lastly, it's the 19 inch wheels. While it looks good and luxurious, it affects performance negatively. And finally, the ugly is the towing capacity. So there you have it. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly of the 2018 Kia Sportage SX all-wheel drive. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we make a new video on these press cars that we review or on our project cars that we have, the Project VRZ. Let's do this the quick way. And there we are, here are all the parts. The Project Volvo V70R. Project IS-300. And of course, who can forget the V8 Vantage that we have, Project Aston Martin. more updates on those cars coming so please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't subscribed to our other social media channels please hit the links down below I want to thank you again so much for watching till the end 
My name is Hansen, and I'll see you next time.